Welcome. This is day one of our first super week. So a super week is where we're going to do uh, a series of content, one video, one post every day, uh, where we look at how you can integrate Zuplo and Superbase, one of our favorite backend as a service um, providers, to create an API first experience. What we're going to do this week is we're actually going to build an end-to-end -end application that is um, a database, obviously, uh, powered by Superbase, that has a API front end that you can monetize. So we're going to show that as well. And it's also going to use a little bit of AI from OpenAI. So it's a very simple example we're going to build. What we're going to do is we're going to build an API that allows you to send a post request that says, hey API, will you please create a simple blog post based on this topic that I sent to you? And then store that into the database so I can come back and get all of the, the different operations I've performed before. So we're gonna have a couple of operations on the API we're gonna complete right now in this day one session where we're gonna do the generate blog post um, call that supports post and we're gonna do the get all blogs. So you can see the written version of this here on our blog, uh, Super Week Day One, using OpenAI and Superbase DB to create an API. And let's get started then. So actually, I've already created a uh, Superbase app for this called um, Blog Summarizer. So I'm just gonna go inside that now. And if you look at our instructions here, it says we need to create a, um, a database table um, called blogs and it's going to have an ID created at and then a content and a title. The title will be whatever we submitted as the the prompt to be summarized and the content will be the content that gets generated by OpenAI. So let's go and do that now. So I'm going to go over to tables here, create a new table. It's called blogs. I already have ID and created at so I just need to create content which is of type um, text and a new title which is of type text also there we go text save that and that will create my blog table where the blog post will get stored after we've called open ai let's pop back over here and it says the next step is to deploy your zuplo api so what we've done is we have a thing called zupit where you can actually instantly deploy um, a sample project so i'm going to do that now just clicking on this deploy to zuplo button here and what that will do is it'll ask me, what do I want to call the project? So super week day one, put it into my, my personal account here. Click Zup it. That's going to set up an actual gateway live for me that's pre-configured with a bunch of things. So very convenient for a tutorial like this. So that is pretty much ready, very quick, as you can see. And notice that we have some routes. So that's quite exciting. We actually already have a bunch of stuff. And if we, if we look here, it tells me actually step... The next step is to add some environment variables so that this API can actually work. So there are three environment variables that are required, OpenAI API key, Superbase URL, and Superbase service role key. I'll show you how to get each of those now. For the OpenAI API key, you'll need um, an OpenAI account. If you sign in, you'll see you go to um, the API here, and then in settings, I think you can sort of view your API keys here. So I'm gonna create a new key now called uh, day one for our day one demo, create my secret key. I know you've seen that, I'm gonna kill that key before you get to use it and go and use uh, all my uh, all my uh, OpenAI account. Um, so let's copy that and let's go and create an environment variable in Zuplo now. So that variable is called um, OpenAI API key and it's a secret, so we will check that box and then we'll click save and that'll actually create the environment variable in the Zuplo system for me. This is gonna take just a couple of seconds there. The next one I want is the Superbase URL. So let's go and create that. And that I can get from Superbase very easily. If I just go to the home page and scroll down, you'll see the project URL is right here. So copy that. That's not a secret, that's public information. So no need to make it a secret, it makes it easier for someone else looking at my project later to see what's going on. And then finally, I need the Superbase service role key. Let's create that. And that is going to be a secret. Now I'll show you where you get this. Uh, I think I got a settings, API, and it's this one here. Now this is a secret, and it's what allows Zuplo to call Superbase securely. So Zuplo is going to be, the Zuplo gateway is going to be your authentication layer, and the Superbase subsystem is going to trust Zuplo because Zuplo has this, this service role key. So I'm going to reveal that and copy that as well. 
Let's paste that in. It's quite a long jot token, I think. So let's save that. And then we are configured. And this API, I think, should actually work. So let's go and take a quick look at it as we're encouraged here in step four, explore the existing routes. So we go to files, routes.oas.json. OAS stands for Open API Specification. And we have one route that came in the template. Let's take a look at it. Let's go explore it. So it's called create a blog using AI. Nice. I do a post to V1 blogs. Um, the I'm assuming the open API document has some information about um, what that looks like. And I'll show you the developer portal in a moment. And it looks like we've set up API key authentication here. So that's nice. Some rate limiting to protect usage of my AI tokens. Um, and then it calls a function. This one actually calls a piece of code. And so if we look at that, we'll see this is some code that's actually doing a bunch of orchestration. Oh yeah, look. It's saying give me a 100 word blog. So you can see the call here to OpenAI using the OpenAI library. So yeah, we've got a nice little function here that's um, gonna run on Zuplo and call that and then actually write the, excuse me, write the um, response to Superbase. So that's all pretty nice. So why don't we test this out? So if I click test here, it's posting a topic of the curvature of the earth. If I click test, I get a 401 unauthorized. And that's because I don't have an API key. We added, or we already have, API key security on this uh, endpoint. So now I need an API key for Zuplo. So I'm going to go and generate one here. Come in here, API key consumers. Let's add a new consumer. I'm just going to call it test. I'm not going to set up any managers or any metadata right now. And this is what my API key looks like. I'm just going to copy that and paste it into the test client here. So let's say authorization is the header I need to use. Burra, paste in my key, excuse me, click test. And this will take a couple of seconds because it's waiting for OpenAI to do its thing and generate a blog post. Pretty quick though. And here we go, we can see we got some, um, some data back here. Let's actually close that. What I'm gonna do is go and take a look at the database and see if we can see that in the database now. And there it is. And there is my little blog post sitting ready in the database, ready for me to use. So pretty exciting, we just got all that working. We just set up an API set up a database, called OpenAI, added API key authentication, added rate limiting so that my OpenAI and my Superbase is not getting too hammered based on how I'm gonna configure that user. We did that literally in a couple of minutes, so pretty impressive. Let's go back to the tutorial here. Let's see what else we gotta do. So we created an API key, we made a request to the API. So step seven is add a get route to get all the blog entries. So what we're going to do now is actually add a new route here. By clicking add route. It's gonna be called get all blogs. And we'll put it at slash v1 slash blogs. That's a nice place. Get, yeah, we'll support cause. That seems nice. Um, we're gonna do a URL rewrite. And what we're gonna do is just do a simple forward on to the Superbase backend. And it actually gives me the code for that here. Let's take a look at this, what's happening. I'll explain what's happening. So this $env.superbase URL says get the environment variable superbase URL and place it into the string. This is um, a JavaScript feature effectively, um, uh, string tokenization. Slash rest slash v1 slash blogs. It's simply gonna forward it on to that end. So let's go and save that. By the time this is finished spinning, then our save should be deployed. Click test and we get no API key found in request. Now that is actually the response coming from Superbase and that's because we haven't configured um, how Zuplo should call this API. It's just calling it raw effectively, not sending any API key header. And therefore Superbase isn't happy with that. It's like you're not authorized to do that. And that's where we're gonna use that token. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set some headers by using the set header policy here. And uh, to make this super easy, Abdullah has included actually all the code you need here. And what it's doing is it's saying it's gonna set a header API key. It's gonna base that on the Superbase uh, role key. And it's also gonna set an authorization header with the same thing. And that's what you need to call um, Superbase. So let's say set Superbase auth headers. So it's more obvious what this thing is doing by changing the name. And there it is. So we click save now, that'll save those changes. When that's finished spinning, that should be live. And if we test it, 
we should see that we are good. We get created at the curvature of the earth. So let's just go end to end on that one more time. Um, I'm going to come up here, click test. We're going to change this to be uh, the importance of API rate limiting. Let's see what it says about that. Okay, now we got something about, about rate limiting. So I know we've done it right this time. So let's go and test this again. And API rate limiting is a crucial aspect of modern web development as it plays a significant, you get the idea. Um, awesome, I'm sure it's correct. So great, the only thing we haven't done here though is added API key auth. So this is now a completely insecure endpoint. Anybody could access um, all of my blog entries. So let's go and put API key authentication on that so we can add policy. We already have an API key auth policy we can use here. So I'm just going to drag that into the front. And let's add the rate limiting as well. We want that endpoint to be rate limited too. You might set different rate limiters on get and post. The post is the one that's using OpenAI, so it's probably more sensitive, but we'll add it to both for now just to be safe. If I click Save, when that finishes spinning, that change should be live. Click Test. And now I will get a 401 unauthorized unless... Oops, I added the word bearer twice, so it didn't like the token. Click test, and now I'm actually getting um, my details. And that, I believe, is the end of day one of our first super week. So come back tomorrow. We'll do day two. We're going to do some awesome stuff. We've got some awesome announcements this week about new features in Zooplo that are related to Superbase as well. So be sure to stick along for the ride. Thank you.